Today is World Wildlife Day and it's pet week here on Wake Up Idaho. So what better way to celebrate than to see what wildlife fanatic animal expert King of unusual pets, Corbin Maxey is up to. He certainly has more than a few unusual pets. And new this morning, Corbin gives us an exclusive inside look at his latest project, a new home for his two alligators. We are here in our brand new alligator house. We're giving KTVB the exclusive. Behind me is Chompers, and Chompers is our six and a half foot female American alligator. We started construction on this facility in 2018 and it honestly was a dream my dad and I had and we were at the point where we were trying to figure out where we were going to house our alligators permanently. They were getting bigger and of course as you know alligators they'll grow throughout their lives so we actually found on a whim a 38 foot long pool. The pool is actually an old water tower from Atlanta, Idaho so what they did is they cut this water tower in half and it turns out it makes a perfect alligator pool it's made of fiberglass and we recessed this 38 foot long pool in the ground built a foundation around it I mean my dad and I along with a few friends built this building it took nearly two and a half years the majority was self-funded a lot of this is recycled lumber and we finally moved the alligators in in October of 2020 and you can actually check out the footage on my YouTube channel just Corbin Maxi, where we literally had to move our two American alligators Chompers and Sonny both of our alligators are rescues so Chompers directly behind me she was rescued out of Twin Falls, Idaho. Some guy thought she would make the perfect anniversary present for his fiance. The fiance got the alligator and she's like, ah, I don't want this. They broke up and we ended up with an alligator. Sonny, our other alligator, was rescued in 2006. He was a little under four feet when he was living in a Boise bedroom. We have a special permit from Idaho Fish and Game to house alligators. It is very expensive taking care of the alligators. Of course, we feed them to to three times a week. We also have to heat this building. We have a pellet stove and pellets, you know, really aren't cheap. So of course, anything helps regarding donations. We are a nonprofit. So if you are interested in helping out the alligators, you can head on over to my website, CorbinMaxi.com or send me an email and you can make a donation. It's a great tax write-off. We are going to be offering private tours soon and they're going to be small, limited groups of only eight to 10 people max. And once again, Again, you can find out more information by visiting CorbinMaxi.com. We're so excited that you are here seeing the exclusive. This building is seriously my pride and joy. And I'm so happy that we're able to give Channel 7 a first glimpse of the alligator building. Can I tell you, I have been on a private tour to his property before that was built, though, and it was incredible. So I can't wait to go back and take my kids. You can do that. You can celebrate World Wildlife Day with Corbin today. In another way, he's going to be taking over the Today Show's animals page on Instagram, and he's going live on the main Today Show Instagram account at noon. So check him out. He's going to highlight the Peregrine Funds World Center for Birds of Prey. And we want to see pictures of your pets, and they may not even be unusual, but look at this. How cute. This is Kevin. His owner, Linda, says he's doing his best to keep the mail going. That is his mail carrier costume. And this is Dixie. Her owner says she's ready for her walk in a little hat. And then we have Malika's home owner, sa owner says sometimes she likes to supervise the cooking in the kitchen. Doing a good job right there with her head tilted. Share your pictures with us. We'd love to see them.